Hey guys, uh, just want to make a really quick video, it's like nearly midnight, um, pretty tired, but I just felt like making this video to kind of pump you all up a little bit. Um, it's really just about what the world is like at the minute. Um, basically lately I just keep just seeing how broken everyone really is in the world, you know? Like you walk down the street and it's just plastered all over everyone's face, you know. Everyone is just without hope, you know. If they if you don't know God, you it's just it's plastered all over your face, you know. You walk down the street and people look at you funny when you're a Christian. I noticed the difference, you know. Before I came to Christ, I, I was the same. And then, you know, I became a Christian and I seen how people look at me differently. Because you're walking down the street because you know about the world, you know what's going on, you know God, like, you know everything, You've and it shows the way you come across, and people look at you like, how come she's so confident, like, what, what happened there, like, you know, all that kind of stuff, like, what's she got that I don't, you know, and it's, it's really evident, you know, you walk down the street, and people are just, have all this hopelessness about them, um, and even when they think they're, you know, happy, and they think they're having fun, they're like, yeah, I'm on a night out, yeah, I'm getting drunk, it's, it's still just hopelessness, it's like filling the void for God with random stuff that is never going to fill it, that's only going to make it worse, you know, and the thing that I just want to say right now is basically, you know, as Christians, you know, like Matthew 5, 14 says, we are the light of the world, right? So we're the ones that have the solution to all of their problems. Like you've got the homeless people that sit there that don't have that don't have hope, you know, that everyone ignores them and walks by and just doesn't take any interest in them or anything, you know. Where are all the Christians? You know, there's so many churches. Where are the Christians? What are they doing? Why are why are we not being the light of the world? Obviously some are, but there are so many Christians that aren't. And I just want to say, like, you know, like, come on, like, we are the light of the world. We're not meant to, like, hide that light. People are broken. People are without hope right now. And we have the answer, you know? you got gay people, like, you got gays holding hands, um just wanting love and acceptance, they feel different, they've been struggling, they're trying to just get someone to accept them and love them and desperate, you know, desperate for attention. Um, and God is the answer, you know, that void is God. Um, you got the people walking down the street with blue hair, facial piercings all over their face. What, you think that's normal? You think it's normal to want to attract that much attention to yourself? It's not. It's because it's they've zero got, hours. Sorry. It's because they've got such a broken, like, void in their system. Like, it's not normal for you to be like, oh, one day wake up and be like, I'm gonna pierce everything on my face. Yeah? Where do you think that stems from? That person is broken. Completely broken. And they, they just, they're doing something, you know? And then, you know, the person who dyes their hair blue, red, whatever, you know, tattoos themselves from head to toe. You think, you think they're just a weirdo or whatever. No, they're completely, completely broken. They need God more than anyone, you know? Well, everyone needs God, but you know what I'm trying to say. So it's like, all these people that we've got, you walk down the street, you see ample of them. Like, so many. There's hardly anyone that you look at and you think, oh, wow, actually, you're, like, really calm and, like, put together and, um, you know, you look, like, decent or whatever. There isn't any people like that because you can see it all over their faces, you know? And God is the answer to all of that. God is the answer to the homeless person with, without hope, the gay person that desperately wants love, attention, acceptance. That's from Jesus. That's where that void is, yeah? You've got the abused, the neglected, the people who feel ugly so they pierce everything, so they tattoo themselves, so they do all this sort of stuff. 
desperate for attention, desperate for love, you know, take all their clothes off. I was one of them. Yeah, I was an underwear model, swimwear model. I was one of them. I plastered all of that stuff over Facebook. Yeah, absolutely, because I wanted attention. I was the one that went to a like a party and got drunk. I was the drunkest one there. Man, if there was any alcohol, I'd be the drunkest one there. And I would be the one on the floor. I would be the one vomiting in the corner. Absolutely. Because I had no love, I had, I wanted attention, I had a massive void, and I was gonna fill it in any way I could, yeah? And that's what everyone's doing these days, and it's so evident. And it's just like, oh man, like, I just want Christians to be aware, like, when you walk down the street, look at these people, they're without hope. That is because, you know, we're meant to be there, like, given them this light, yeah, because there is hope, and it's Jesus, that's, that is the answer to all those problems, yeah, and it's not just that, you know, God wants you to do that, like, if there's someone in need, and if there's someone in, you know, without hope, and someone is like, I, I mean, I, I know people that constantly try and kill themselves, yeah, and that is, God, that is, the vo the void that's there is for God to fix, and you have to persist, and it doesn't matter if they don't listen to you, hey, I didn't listen to people, right, if anyone told me God existed, I mocked them, I, I thought you were an idiot, okay, like, I would debate with you, I would laugh at you, I would make fun of you behind your back, doesn't matter, you, as a Christian, that's what you have to take, so if someone, like, laughs at you first time, takes the mick out of you, talks behind your back, keep going, yeah, because I'm living proof that that's, that was once me, just keep going, because it's true, like, you know, the truth will prevail, the truth will always stand, and if that one person, you know, if, if it's just that one person that you keep going and eventually they get it, or eventually they, you know, um, have a bad time like I did and actually need to turn to God, then, you know, you've, you've been, you've done your part, like, you've, you've been that connection to God, you know, and it's just, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say anyway, um, it's like past midnight, um, and yeah, I've got to get up early and stuff, um, and I'm really tired, so that probably made no sense, but I just wanted to say that as well, and I wanted to read you this passage from the Bible as well, so, uh, Matthew 25, 31. Um, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will gather before him and he will separate the people from one another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goat, goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance to the the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. The, the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or need, need needing clothes and clothed you? When did we see you sick or in prison or go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for, for one of the least of the brothers, these brothers of mine, you did for me. Yeah? So, that's what God wants us to do. So, you know... When you go to work and you're passing by that homeless person that you always pass by, you know, take an interest, give them some food, talk to them. When you see the broken people, the ones with depression, the ones, the ones that are hard to talk to, the ones that you think, you know, are, oh, they're not going to listen to a word I say, you know, they walk around with satanic tattoos and they pierce everything on their face, you know, at the end of the day, they're probably the most broken. And, you know, they probably need someone to talk to even more. That's why they're attracting so much attention to themselves. You know, oh, maybe if I pierce 
loads of my face, you know, people will actually, like, you know, look at me. You know, that's a desperate cry for help. So, that's just what I, what I wanted to say. So, um, yeah. Good night.